There are many reasons why you may want to hide or restrict access to a specific app on your phone. With iOS 18, Apple has given you the ability to do just this. Let's talk through how to do it and some potential use cases. If you appreciate the information in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Now let's jump in. These new options are available to you by long pressing on an app on your home screen. When you do so, you'll see a new option called Require Face ID, which is what enables these new controls. By clicking it, you'll be able to choose to Require Face ID or Hide and Require Face ID. The first option will leave the app right where it is, but anytime you attempt to open the app, it will require validation by a Face ID or your phone's passcode. This includes every time you navigate away from the app and come back, no matter how brief. Adding this lock to an app could provide an extra level of security in order to prevent someone who's got your phone temporarily from accessing sensitive information. Some of the apps that you may want to consider locking would be Amazon, Target, or other shopping apps where you have saved payment details. This would prevent someone with your phone from making an unauthorized purchase. You may want to lock your social media apps in order to prevent a friend who's got your phone from posting on your behalf. You may want to lock an app like Venmo, which doesn't always ask for a login, but can be used to make a financial transaction. By contrast, you probably don't have to lock apps like banking or credit card apps, since these typically require you to log in every time you open them. If you use your phone for work, you may consider locking email or other work apps with sensitive company information. Finally, if you have children or nieces and nephews who use your phone, you may want to lock apps that have information you don't want them to access. This could include a number of apps with information you don't want them to see, edit, or delete, whether intentionally or by accident or even just entertainment apps like YouTube or Netflix that you want to limit their use of without permission. The end result is a more secure environment and one that can be customized to your specific needs. The second locking option goes one step further by hiding the app altogether. When you choose this option, the app will disappear from your home screen. It will instead move into a hidden folder on the app library screen. This hidden folder appears whether there are apps hidden currently or not, so its presence alone is not a sign that something is being hidden. If an app is hidden, by tapping on the folder, you will be required to unlock via Face ID or your passcode. Then the hidden apps will appear, allowing you to use them as normal. Hidden apps are also concealed on Spotlight Search and in a special Hidden Apps folder within Settings. The only way that I've found to figure out if an app is installed without unlocking the hidden folder is to search for it on the App Store, in which case you will see it as open rather than the download button. So keep in mind as hidden apps are not 100% hidden. Hiding an app is useful for a myriad of sensitive topics. This could include certain health and wellness apps for period and pregnancy tracking, sobriety tracking, or therapy. It could include dating apps, especially in instances where someone may not want their personal preferences to be public. This feature is useful really for anything that may be potentially sensitive, embarrassing, or controversial to others, but that's important to you. Personally, I don't think there's shame in any one of these examples. However, everyone's situation is different, and I'm glad now that you have an option to keep something private that you don't wish for others to see. Once an app is locked or hidden, you can turn this feature off by pressing and holding on the app on your home screen or in the hidden folder and selecting Don't Require Face ID. This will restore normal behavior to the app. Now here's a few quick troubleshooting tips. Number one, if you hide an app and then remove the hidden requirement, it will be removed from the hidden folder, but it will not automatically be added back to your home screen. In order to add it back, you can find it in the app library or via spotlight search Press and hold on that app and then select Add to Home Screen. Number two, some apps, such as certain pre-installed Apple apps, are not able to be locked in this new manner. If you see the option to require Face ID on some apps, but not all, it's likely that the app that is not able to be locked just simply cannot be locked. Number three, if you don't see the require Face ID option on any apps, you should ensure that you're on the latest version of iOS. It needs to be version 18 or later. To do so, go to Settings, General, About, and look at the iOS version. If you're on anything earlier than 18.0, 
hit back and go to software update to get the latest version with the feature included. I appreciate you watching and hope that you found this guide useful. If you did, please consider a like and a subscribe. If you'd like more iPhone tips, you can check out this video on iPhone typing tips. I appreciate you as always, and I will see you in the next one.